Thanks for stopping on in for today's video where I'm going to walk you through three things that you can try to fix your Amazon Fire tablet. Now, these steps aren't going to fix every single issue that you might run into, but I'm going to touch on what are some of the most common fixes to problems that people will have. So these are going to be resetting your device, making sure you have a good, strong internet connection, and then also updating your Fire tablet. So to start off, I first recommend just to reset your device. So that's gonna be holding down the power button for about 20 seconds. After that, you can go ahead and turn your device back on by clicking the power button. That's gonna take you through its restart and reboot. And then once you open up your Fire Tablet after that, specifically if you had issues with it being frozen or dealing with some type of bug, resetting it will probably fix that particular type of issue. But if resetting your device doesn't fix your problem, the next thing I recommend looking at is your internet connection. So we're gonna bring down the quick settings option from the top of the screen. And you can see right now I'm connected to my wireless router, Frontier 22, and I have a strong signal that I'm getting. I'll show you what it looks like if you're not connected to a wireless router. So it just says Wi-Fi with a slash through it. That means you're not connected to the internet and that's when you're gonna have a problem in terms of loading different applications that you have to use the internet to access. But we're gonna tap on that little Wi-Fi setting and it's going to bring up all of the different wireless connections in your area. If you don't see your specific wireless router in this list, you can click on more settings. And that will bring up all of the different wireless routers that are in your area. Just find your specific wireless router, click on it, make sure you're logged in and connected. Now, there is a situation where you can be connected to your wireless router and your internet will still not work. And this would be an issue with your wireless router itself. So at that point, I recommend going over to your wireless router, unplugging it for about 30 seconds, and then plugging it back in, and it'll go through its restart phase, and hopefully that will fix your internet issue. And beyond that, if that doesn't help your internet problem, it could just be you have down service in your area, and I'd recommend contacting your specific internet provider and ask if there's down uh, internet in your particular region, and they'll be able to update you with that information and when they hope to get the internet back online. Now, if it's not an internet issue that you're running into, another thing that you could try is updating your device. So in this quick settings screen on the upper right hand corner, you see a little gear, tap on that and then go down to where it says device options. And we're gonna click on device options and then scroll down to where it says system updates and click on that and then Right where it says updates, click that little check now option and it's going to check to see if there's any critical updates that you need to download and install. It has no updates for me, but if it does find updates for you, you can go through and accomplish that update process to make sure that your Amazon Fire tablet is completely up to date. So those are going to be the three different steps that you guys can try to fix whatever issue you might have run into with your Amazon Fire tablet. I really hope that this was able to help you out. If not, there's always other resources that you can check out, not just through YouTube, but also just going through Amazon support option as well. So thanks for stopping on in guys, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you back here for future videos.